How's it going everybody? Welcome to the channel and the video review of the MJX RC Bugs 3 RC quadcopter. It comes with the brushless motors and the independent ESCs and the 2.4 gigahertz two-way communication. This quadcopter is upgradable to the sports camera the 360 degrees panoramic camera, the Wi-Fi or the 5.8 gigahertz camera, or the 4.3 inch LCD camera package, and the seven inch LCD camera package, and the MJX goggles. So let's go ahead and open up this box and see what we got. Okay, here's all the contents of the box. I've already taken it all out and already assembled the quadcopter itself. Uh, put the propellers on there as well as the landing legs. Um, there was two screws per landing legs that were easy to put on. And the propellers are easy to put on as well. They're the screw on type. And you do get this little tool, a little wrench, but the propellers on this quadcopter is a screw on type like I said it does not have that lug nut um, but what it does have on the opposite side is a little indentation to hold the motor in place while you screw on the propellers uh, tightly so that's really nice let's put that down and the quadcopter itself taking a look at it has the brushless motors of course and the LED light, really bright LED light, I must say, in the front. And the landing legs were put on. Uh, also, before I put the landing legs, um, if you don't want to put the landing legs, you could use this motor pod landing legs as well if you want to fly this thing more sportier without the camera. But if you're going to put a camera, you will need to put this longer landing legs. Now, it's very light. The distance between the two motors diagonally is 310 millimeters. So it's a pretty big size quadcopter. Now taking a look under the belly, there's the LED lights, really bright. I believe it's a white LED lights in the front and blue ones in the back. Now that is interesting because this one has some kind of an antenna in the, um, the belly over here that is already connected to the um, um, quadcopter. So this unit right here with the LED light, it's interchangeable by taking off this little uh, cover right here. You can undo this and change it to a different um, modules like the uh, Wi-Fi camera or the 5.8 gigahertz camera. So that's probably what that is for. Uh, there's the battery housing right there and the battery just slides in from the back you just push it right in and it looks really nice and there's the connection port for the batteries uh, xt30 plug so you plug it in like so and you are good to go there's no on and off switch however so that's one thing bad so you need to just plug it in and which is pretty easy to do so that's about it for the quadcopter itself so let's put that quadcopter down and we are given four extra propellers and the propellers are very light and very thin and very flexible too. So it's really light and it makes a really nice sound when you turn it on. Uh, I got a couple of extra screws. Those were the same screws that came with the uh, landing legs. So you are given two more uh, extra screws. That's really nice. Uh, you get a screwdriver, uh, a charging wall plug for the battery and also the propeller guards. The propeller guards are put on by removing the couple of screws that's holding down the, um, the motor and you place this right in its place and put the screws back on and you are ready to go with nice prop guards, nice and big. It almost uh, reminds me of the DJI Phantom prop guards almost. And you are also given four extra screws the motor mount screws. So that's really nice. Now you are also given a camera housing that clicks onto the bottom of the quadcopter like so. 
but be very careful. There's a slight extruding clip right there where the camera housing clips onto, as you can see there, but it is almost impossible to take it back out. You really have to press this down. As you can see, when I press this down, it does not move that little notch. So you really got to push it down like so. And looks like after a few more um, attempts, uh, you're probably going to push that down and break this little thing right here. So even though you don't push it all the way in, it stays pretty solid. So I'm just going to leave it like so because I don't want to break that. So let's take this back out. And what you are also given with this camera housing is a couple of foam pads. Here's a very thin foam pad and another foam pad that is slightly thicker. And the reason why they give you those is because this camera housing can fit multitude of sports cameras. So I tried my new Fury B 4K Wi-Fi camera on there and it fits really good, but it slides a little bit. So that's why they give you those foam pads. So you can put the foam pads inside and put the camera in and it won't slide anymore. And also I tried to put in my Xiaomi E cam and it fits good as well, but it down a little bit as well. So the foam pads are a really good addition to this camera housing. All right, so that's everything there is inside the box. And oh yeah, we also get this uh, Bugs 3 instruction manual as well. All right, let's go ahead and turn on the quadcopter and the remote control and bind it and find out all of the functions of the remote control. First, we need to bind the quadcopter to the remote control. And this unit is a little different than all of the other quadcopters. The binding process is like this. You pull down the red button here and turn on the remote control and it'll beep twice and the green light will flash. And now you go ahead and plug in the quadcopter. And now it is bound. So no stick up and down process like some of the other quadcopters that we've tested before. It is bounded. Now, this red button here will arm the motors and press it for longer, uh, down press it for two more seconds, and it will disarm the motors. So let's check that out. But first, you'll have to lower down the throttle stick. So let's go ahead and short press it. There you go. Arms the motors. Hold it and it disarms the motors all right now this button over here is the speed changing button but if you press it really quick that's speed number two speed number one now long press it and it turns the lights on and off there you go turns the lights on off i mean and turns the lights back on now the led lights on the bottom is clear in the front and blue in the back. Let me go ahead and arm the motors one more time. As you can see, the blue lights come on. Now you can turn off the lights at this stage as well. So short press or long press turns off the lights. And long press it again. Oops. Turns on the lights, okay? Now let's go ahead and disarm the motors. All right. Now let's take a look at the other functions. This button here is the flip button. So we're going to have a brushless motor doing flips now. All right. With the push of a button. So I can't wait to do that tomorrow. Now this button here is the photo and the video button. Short pressing it is the photo. Long pressing it is the video. But this unit did not come with a camera. So this function is nullified. Uh, trim button here, trim button here, and trim button here. Now this button here, press it up and hold it for three seconds, and you are able to calibrate your remote control. Now the remote control already comes calibrated from the factory, but if it deviates from the factory settings, and if it doesn't do what it's supposed to do, you can calibrate it. Let's go ahead and do that. So up, hold it for three seconds. Now it's in the calibrating mode. You rotate your sticks 
in whichever clockwise or counterclockwise direction two times and press that button for three more seconds and now your remote control has been calibrated all right now in order to calibrate the gyros on the quadcopter both sticks to the bottom and to the right will calibrate the gyros for steady flight so that is about it for all of the functions of the remote control and the quadcopter so only thing left to do is go out and test this thing tomorrow all right all right turning on the remote with the binding process and plugging it in all right bound it successfully now arm the motors oops there we go you gotta hold it for a uh, half a second or so all right let's see if it turns off nice all right we have the LED lights we're gonna turn the LED lights off nice it's supposed to have 20 minutes of flight time guys turning off the lights might help too so let's go hmm there we go Wow very quiet the thin propellers are spinning very quietly as you can see here and very stable too slight drifting because of the breeze but man looking really nice all right let's take it out to the field nice punch out it's got lots of power guys <laughs> nice pitch we are in low speed or speed number one nice there's the yaw a full yaw wow it's a nice sport flyer man nice nice you know what what I really want to find out is the flips man nice the brush motor flips you gotta do the direction while you're pressing the button nice all directional flips guys <laughs> finally a brush mo uh, brushless motor flips did I say brush motors earlier sorry about that brushless motor flips nice oh it lost its uh, gyro for a minute there but it regained it back nice okay now let's go to speed number two You know what I don't know if uh, it made any difference it's almost the same nice let me press that button again yep speed number one now oh yeah it did make a difference see the pitch on speed number one oop the Sun it's been very cloudy lately okay see that I just changed to speed number two yeah a lot more pitch Woo -hoo. watch out for the trees Wow it is an excellent sport flyer guys take off those landing legs and fly without the landing legs that'll be really nice punch out one more time nice nice Wow not much prop wash on the way down either really nice
nice funnels opposite side funnels even out the motor wear <laughs> And, and this thing's supposed to have a decent amount of range too. I think it's advertised at uh, 300 to 500, if I'm not mistaken. You gotta do FPV on this thing. All right. Now that we saw what it can do, and it's got lots of speed and agility here, let's put on a camera, see if it had any if it has any vibrations. All right. Pull the throttle all the way down and hold the red button and shuts the motors off. All right. All right. I got my Xiaomi E cam on the camera housing and it is hooked on. So let's go for a little camera flight with the Bugs 3. Okay, binding mode. Turning it on. All right, let's turn the lights off. All right, okay, let's go. Arming the motors. Nice. Ah, oh, welcome back out, son. Nice, now we got some sun. Man, this thing hovers really steady. Very stable, very stable. Let me make sure that my camera is recording. You know what, I can't really tell if it is. Let me land it to make sure I am recording. Okay, yes, it is recording, so let's go. Sorry about that. All right. There it goes. Let's push it out. It goes in places in a hurry. Nice. We are way up there too. Okay, let's bring it down.
Nice. It just beeped. The remote control is beeping, so I'm thinking the battery is on the low. So we didn't get that 20 minutes of flight time, guys. And the lights are flashing, I see that. Okay, so let's land it over here. Bring it in. But has no problem carrying the camera. And so stable, check that out. Nice, all right.